What's up guys? I don't want this to come across as a uh, Debbie Downer video, but uh, I've been sharing my uh, weight loss success with you and um, I just feel like I need to uh, be transparent and also share that I have hit a uh, plateau, a stall. I think it's safe to call it that. Um, you know, my, my weight loss slowed down in September, but I was still losing one to two pounds a month, which, you know, I'm okay with that. that that's, that's perfect. Um, and don't get me wrong, um, you know, I, people see me every day and tell, and ask me, you know, what, what I'm doing and tell me that I look great. And, um, you know, so I'd be happy if I don't lose anything else. Uh, but, you know, that I am a little disappointed. You know, I was hoping to lose more. Uh, so then came the middle of December, and um, I thought my weight loss probably stopped due to uh, stress. My mom's health wasn't the best. She had to have some surgery. And uh, then through Christmas, I relied a little too heavy on some Quest products, uh, some cookies and some chips. And, you know, so I just thought it was a combination of those two things that uh, stalled my weight. Um, but it could have been, I also started on a new medication December 12th. And it is a beta blocker, metaprolol. And, you know, I started keto last year in February. Uh, immediately, uh, I came off of the metformin. And then the 1st of August, I was having some... Uh, problems with my heart rate. Uh, too fast, too slow. So my doctor took me off of one of my blood pressure medications. So I thought that was great. Heading in the right direction. <clears throat> but August and September, I was having, uh, again, I was under stress, but I was having some uh, palpitations, some discomfort in my chest. So went back to the doctor, uh, went to see a cardiologist. And y'all may have noticed in some previous videos of mine that uh, I was wearing a heart monitor. I also wore a uh, event monitor for 30 days. And uh, then the cardiologist sent me for an echocardiogram. And uh, one good thing that came out of all this, um, I had a, a CT scan uh, with contrast, which uh, the results of that came back and zero blockages, my arteries are clear as a whistle, clean as a whistle, uh, no uh, lack of oxygen to my heart uh, or to my brain. So that, that's a good thing, but the echocardiogram showed uh, a weakness in my heart. And the cardiologist said probably due to um, decades and decades of uh, high blood pressure that just wasn't really well controlled. And, you know, back when I was working, I took like five medications uh, for blood pressure. But, you know, uh, when I stopped working, I, I, you know, I came off all but three of those. And uh, then with keto, I got down to just two of those. And actually, I was breaking both of them in half. So, you know, it decreased a lot of my blood pressure medications. But anyway, uh, I, this first cardiologist uh, put me on the metaprolol. I really didn't want to take that because I had, uh, you know, I knew enough about the beta blockers that uh, they're not real good for uh, type 2 diabetics, insulin resistant people, or uh, people with uh, metabol metabolic syndrome. And, uh, you know, I have all three of those. So. Uh, I went to a second cardiologist and, you know, he pretty much said, this is the best medication for you. So, I don't know why that would be. I don't know if it's the type of uh, irregularity uh, that I'm having. Uh, they're they're going to have to explain more of that to me uh, for me to continue taking this medication. Anyway, I... Uh, 
I called my cardiologist uh, on Friday and uh, just to let him know that I am not doing very well on this. It has just zapped my energy. Uh, you know, I can just I can just sleep all the time. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I just started taking the medicine at night, just so I'll sleep through most of that fatigue and discomfort. Um, you know, I was really enjoying weightlifting, and uh, now all I can muster up is just you know doing some stuff here at home, some squats and push-ups, and uh, working with some bands and. You know, I still have my water jugs. Um, so hopefully his office will call me back Monday or Tuesday, and I hope they can put me on something else. Anyway, I'll let y'all know. So my question is, uh, is there anyone out there that is on a beta blocker, and can you lose weight? How do you do it? Um and as far as that goes, any of the other medications, there's a lot of medications that slow weight loss. Um, steroids, uh, prednisone, uh, antihistamines, anything for uh, depression, uh, and I think statins. I think they slow down weight loss too. So anyway, what do y'all do to continue with your weight loss? Uh, so... Let, let me know any suggestions. I guess if they convince me to stay on this medication, I'm going to have to really up my fasting. Well, that, that was another thing. My uh, Since I started on keto, my morning blood glucose reads 70 to 85, which I love that. Okay, now since I've started on this medication, um, my morning glucose is... You know, 98, 99, all the way up to 116. So, you know, I'm on the road to going back on metformin. And, um, you know, of course, I've asked Dr. Google. And also, this medication interferes with fat metabolism. So, supposedly, it's going to decrease my HDL, increase my LDL, and... I think maybe my total cholesterol also. Anyway, I, you know, I'm due to have my labs done, uh, my annual physical, the end of February. So, you know, I hate to go have those done, and they're going to be just crazy wonky. But uh, anyway, uh, I have hit a stall, and I have hit it hard. So... If they convince me to stay on this medication, all I know is I'm really going to have to up my fasting because in order to get my morning glucose readings down, uh, I have to do a 24. I even did a 48-hour fast uh, this past week, and it, it did bring my morning glucose down to 82. So if I have to stay on this medication, I guess I'm going to have to up my fasting to two to three days a week. Um, and I'm going to have to drag myself to the gym and start doing more cardio, which is, you know, is really not my favorite thing in the world. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll do it. not going to give up on it. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, let me know anybody else on any medications like this, and uh, I'll, you know, let y'all know how it goes. Bye.